Hello and good afternoon and welcome to this video tutorial on introductory Python programming and this is going to be the solution set at the end of the fourth video where we took a look at strings or I should say strings part two where we were converting from uh, an IP address from its uh, dotted decimal format to binary format we ended the video with a challenge I basically put a challenge out there for you to think about how you could take the existing program that we had and get it to where it printed the address in dotted decimal format but instead of uh, decimal numbers with binary because in a lot of cases you want to know what the binary representation is going to be uh, for an IP address and you'd like to see it in that dotted decimal notation where they have four octets showing and so here is one way to do it and that's one of the great things about programming is there are uh, probably a million ways uh, to solve uh, individual problems. So uh, this code here is the same, right, where we're basically prompting the user for input. Remember that the raw input, that is a Python 2 construct that will not work with Python 3. We saw that in the previous video. We then split, or I should say we split the IP address up that gets entered, right? So that's that same uh, variable that we created there based off the input the user gives us we split those fields up based off of where the period is at so when the user puts in 192.168.1.3 this becomes uh, the first element in the list right so this IPv4 split adder we're gonna get a list back of each of the elements uh, that are split based off of the period. Remember, we even did the IPv6. You see down here, the split character uh, becomes the colon because that's how IPv6 addresses are constructed. So this would be element 0. This will be element 1. That is element 2, and that is element 3. And those are the four elements. Remember, the numbering for a list, the elements start at 0. And actually, let me squeegee that off. I just wrote into the answer there. So here is your answer, right? Your IPv4 dotted decimal address converted to binary is, and you can see what we did here. We basically concatenated. That's what the plus sign is when we're using it with the print function here uh, with the strings. And so we've got uh, the first format statement, and we concatenate that. To a, and then we put a period in between, right? And there's my string single quotes, right? That's kind of a little smiley face going on there. Definitely not uh, intentional there. And then we've got our format for the second octet, and we concatenate and add in a period string there. And then we've got our third octet right here, and then we concatenate with the period being added in to the fourth octet, uh, which is right there. And so what this is going to do is this is going to print out for me uh, whatever the user enters in for an IPv4 address in binary, but it's going to print it out as four octets separated by, whoops, separated by periods, just like you would see uh, with the decimal values like 192.168.35.5 or something like that. So let's go ahead and let's run this program and let's see what happens here. So let's save it off and let's pull it up. So it please enter an IPv4 address and dot a decimal notation. So we're going to say uh, 240.224.128.99. And there it is. Your IPv4 dotted decimal address converted to binary is, and it lists it out for us right there. And you can quickly see I use some um, pretty um, canned uh, values there so that we can quickly check 240, yep, 128, 64, 32, and 16, that's 240. And then 128, 64, and 32 is 224. And then 128 is just simply that high order bit, the one here in the third octet. And then here is the fourth octet with a value of 99. So 64 and 32 is 96, 97, 98, 99. All right, so we took a look at strings, uh, did quite a bit with strings. 
and ended up with a program uh, that's really just a couple of lines of code that will allow you to quickly and easily put in an IPv4 address and get back that address converted to binary. All right, well, that is our solution set. Let me cat it on the screen here one more time or VI it on the screen one more time. And there it is. Remember, those print statements by themselves are just giving us some uh, extra lines, right? There's are some, uh, some spacing between the output. And so that's what it would look like in Python version 2. And let's wrap this up by saying that copy will come back over here. Let's set it up for Python 3, which is going to be, and I can't remember if we grabbed everything there. And we did, so I can get rid of this. So we'll wipe these lines out here. And remember, Python 3 raw input is not for user input, but the input function is. So we'll say file, save, options, whoops, sorry, run, run module. Here we go, enter the IPv4 address and dotted decimal notation. Here we'll say 172.16.31.23. And raw inputs, I got rid of the raw. Oh, it looks like we've got... And did we lose? Looks like the cut and paste may not have... Oh, we did. Okay, it's going to dump it all on one line there. I see what we're doing. All right, I apologize here. We've got this... Uh, extra stuff down here at the bottom I did not anticipate there we go and we probably want to make sure we use print as a function with version 3 Python 3 alright there it looks a little better sorry about that so we'll say run run module there it is let's go ahead and say uh, 139.155.140.224 and there you go so we've got the code now to do this with uh, Python 2 as well as Python 3. Remembering that what we changed were the print, we made it functions in version 3, and we got rid of the raw input and just simply used input with version 3. All right, well hopefully you did not uh, have much struggle with this when, uh, when you were working on the challenge. And um, again, definitely more than one way to do it, so as long as you get the desired output, you are in good shape. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.